Hey guys, I'm Daniel, and uh, the question we have here is the vapor pressure of water at 20 degrees Celsius is 17.5 millimeters of mercury. What is the vapor pressure of water over a solution prepared from 200 grams of sucrose and 350 grams of H2O? Okay, so the equation we're going to be working with here is um, the vapor pressure, uh, I guess um, you write it as P pressure is equal to um, the mole fraction of whatever you're talking about, all right? So mole fraction of, um, in this case, it's going to be H2O, so let's put X W times the, the, the pressure of pure water at uh, 20 degrees Celsius, all right? So I guess uh, P naught, all right? And that's going to give us the uh, change of pressure, okay? Alright, so the first step into solving this equation is to find the mole fraction, okay? And if you recall, the mole fraction of x is equal to n of whatever you're talking to, so nx over n total, alright? So the, the moles of whatever you're talking about, alright? So if you're looking for, let's say, the mole fraction of water, it's going to be the moles of water over the total moles that are present in whatever you're talking about. All right. So let's go ahead and convert 200 grams of sucrose into uh, moles of sucrose. Okay. So 200 grams C12H22O11 over one times and the molar mass of sucrose is 12.01 times 12 plus 1.008 times 22 plus 16 times 11 all right 342.296 grams and that's per mole of c12 h22 o11 all right and that's equal to uh go ahead and write these uh equations uh so that i may re erase them for so i can have more space and I'll go ahead and pause the video now to do that. We're we'll going to wait a little bit. Give me two seconds. One, two. All right. Let's go ahead and proceed. So 200 divided by our molar mass gives us 0 0.5843. 0 0.5843 moles of C12H22O11. All right. Now let's go ahead and convert our 350 grams of H2O into moles of H2O, okay? So we have 350 moles, actually let me switch colors, so we have 350 grams H2O, alright, multiply it by molar mass, so 18.016 grams per mole of H2O. And that gives us uh, 350 divided by 18.016, a total of 19.427 moles of H2O. Now, in order to in order to solve this problem, we need to find the mole fraction of water. Okay, and the reason why we're doing that is because what we're comparing it to is the pure uh, pressure of water at 20 degrees Celsius. Let's say it was telling us, let's say this value was giving us the, the pressure of a pure, um, I guess, sample of sucrose, then we would find the mole fraction of sucrose and compare it to the pure pressure, okay? But in this case, it's giving us water, pure pressure of water at 20 degrees Celsius. Now, uh, let's go ahead and find the mole fraction of our water right here, okay? So, the mole fraction, if you recall, as I wrote it earlier, so mole fraction of water is going to be equal to n water over n total. So, the moles of water over the total moles present, okay? Now, let's go ahead and add these two values in order to find the total moles present. So, 19.427 plus 0.5843 giving us a total of 
20.0113. Okay, so n total is equal to 20.0113. Moles. Alright. And let's go ahead and plug that value into our equation down here. <coughs> so N water, which is 19.427 moles. So 19 equals 19.427 moles of H2O over. Over our total moles, which is 20.0113 moles total. I'll just put a T right here. Moles total. So the mole fraction after doing this calculation is, well, let me just finish punching this in, is point, point, point 0.971, all right? Equals point 0.971, and that's equal to our mole fraction of water. All right, let's go ahead and bracket that in. And if you want to copy this uh, information down, or this work down, go ahead and copy it now because I will be erasing in order to free up free up some more space. And um, I'll go ahead and leave this portion, but I'm going to erase the sucrose version or portion of it. All right. So the next step into solving our question or our problem is to plug in this value, the mole fraction, into the vapor pressure lowering uh, uh, equation. So P, uh, I'll just leave it P, is equal to P naught times XW. All right, and that's gonna give us the <coughs> our new pressure when diluting it our water with sucrose. All right, so that becomes P naught, which is 17.5 millimeters of mercury, 17.5 millimeters of mercury times uh, our mole fraction of water, which is 0.971. And it is a dimensionless number because, I guess, as you can see, moles uh, cancel out moles. So when you do that calculation, you're going to do that now. So 0.971 times 17.5 is equal to 16.99. Equals 16.99, and that's millimeters of mercury. And um, if you're doing this problem for the same problem set that I am, they the they actually rounded it up to 17.0 but you can do either one you want. Or actually, it would probably be appropriate to round it up because of the significant figures. You know, you can't forget about those, right? You have three right here, three right here, three right here, and um, it's, it is proper to round it up to 17.0. So I guess that becomes 17.0 millimeters of mercury. And the letter, the letter answer to this problem box it in with black so it stands up it comes 17.0 millimeters of mercury and the letter answer is uh, C if you're using the same uh, if you're using the same problem set as I am and uh, I hope you understood everything I hope everything makes sense uh, thanks for watching uh, enjoy